Sorry to bother you again. What now, fishy? Okay, I'll say the words. What are you talking about? Klatu Barata Necktie? Nectarine. Nickel. Oh, come on. What was that last word? I know there was an N word. What was that damn last word? Nikto. That's it. Klatu Barata Nikto. There, I said it. Now make way, people. The library awaits. What's your problem? What are you trying to do? Deactivate us? Because you're starting to piss me off here. I thought that was the password. The... <laughs> the password? <laughs> I think someone's been pulling your leg, rookie. You'll be the laughing stock in here. Bastards. You want revenge? Yes. Yes, I do. You want to make it clear that no one fucks with the newbie? Of course. Would you like to make it to Tuesday Alive? Hell yes. Come on, where do I sign? Come to the laundry and I'll show you the contract. But I warn you, if you bite, I'll break your teeth. And you can call me Gord if you like. Okay, I see where you're going with this and uh, I think I'll pass. Oh, come on now! You can't leave me hanging like this! I got my hopes up! The least you can do is give me a little kiss. A kiss? Uh-uh. I don't want any weird stuff. I'm out of here. A kiss. See ya! Keep on your toes. You just never know in here. Good morning. My name is Randall. Are you the new sous chef? No, I'm just here. Then get the hell out of my kitchen, insect. But I, I just wanted to... Don't make me repeat myself. I will rip your legs off. Okay, okay, jeez. Looks like Bruno doesn't want me in his kitchen. There's a detergent tablet in one of the pockets. Hey, Murray. What's up, prisoner? How you getting along? Uh, can't complain. Things in here are very different, son. So if you want my advice, try to keep your mind busy. Just worry about yourself and stay away from trouble. If you need something to keep you occupied, just talk to me. I'm the one who assigns jobs to prisoners. Hmm, I'll keep that in mind. Trust me, kid. It's better to go by unnoticed. You don't want to attract any attention. I don't think the people in here have much sympathy for your kind. What do you mean by my kind? Relax, my friend. It's not my job to judge you. But don't think your fellow inmates are going to be as nice to you as I am. Thanks, Murray. You're welcome. So, Murray? Yes? What's that behind you? Ah, oh, that's the shower room. Oh, I see. That's what they talk about in the movies, isn't it? Ugh. Yeah, well, don't believe everything you see on TV. Would you mind if I see the showers? I'd really love to. No, you'll see them when it's shower time. Okay, if you can't show me. Don't you get bored just sitting on that stool all day? Honestly, yes. But a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. And don't they let you bring anything in here to entertain yourself? Not anymore. We used to be able to read the paper, but then too many accidents started happening. And the warden said there would be far less accidents if the guards started actually watching the inmates. I see. What the hell's wrong with the cook? He is really bad-tempered. But it's not his fault. When he was little, his father made him eat his hamsters as a punishment for not cleaning his room. Are you serious? I'm always serious. That's when his wickedness was born. And also his passion for cooking. Amazing, but you know what? It turns out I'm a cooking enthusiast myself. 
Are you implying that you'd like to work in the kitchen? Well, uh, I wouldn't mind. I'm sure there must be a lot of cool stuff in there I can combine in my inventory or something. I'm sorry? Uh, oh, nothing. Very well. I name you the new temporary sous chef. Tell Bruno you're his new helper and show him how good you are. Thanks, Murray. I'm gonna give it my all. I'll, uh, leave you to your work. Hello again, my friend. I'm here to... Get the hell out of my damn kitchen, you cockroach! Hey, just wait a second, Bruno. I'm here to give you a hand with the cooking. Who said I need help? Murray did. Uh, maybe you should go teach him a lesson. Ah, I don't want any more trouble with the guards. They really have it in for me since I attacked one of them and bit his thumb off. Oh, okay. Uh, so, how can I help you? Uh, I told you I don't need help. But, uh, I guess you could start making the soup. Take that pot over there! Roger that. of small triangles. Nothing. I was just making the soup. already? Did he show you his Necronomicon? <laughs> no, and he didn't show me his ash neither. Oh yeah? Cause a little bird told me you guys already became good pals. <laughs> Look, he can barely walk. <laughs> hey, I just got a little Charlie horse. I didn't even touch the guy. You hear that, guys? The rookie's fridge. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I'm not into that. Hey, relax, rookie. We was just kidding. We don't give a damn about Boggs or which side he butters his muffin. God, that fucking asshole Matic played me. Hey. Shithead, he's one of us. Show some respect. One of you? You must be fucking kidding me. What did that chump ever do? Well, he used a quote from last week's movie to set up some poor idiot rookie. <laughs> huh. So that's how you play, huh? Hey, look on the bright side, kid. At least you gave us all a big laugh. You bullshit salesman. This isn't over. Relax, buddy. It was just a joke. Oh, you're on my list now. You know where to find me, rookie. You better stay away from our new friend, or a night with Boggs in the laundry is gonna feel like a prom date compared to what we'll do to you. <laughs> 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 
Hmm. How's that spitting contest thing going? Well, we're just waiting for the cook. The cook? Bruno, the cook. He's one of this year's favorites. Why do you call him the cook? Because he's the cook. Oh, okay. I thought that was just a nickname or something. So, uh, how's the food here? Is it as bad as they say? Here's a free tip before you get in any trouble. In here, you are worth nothing unless there's something you can do for people. You know, Sleazy, that guy can get you anything you need. My point is, if you have nothing to offer, then nobody will give a damn about your rookie ass. I see. Bruno is the cook here, and if he finds out you can badmouth in his food, you don't get food. So be careful what you say, and who you say it to. Gotcha. Smart kid. But now, how about another try? What the hell are you doing? Yeah, what the hell? Putting objects on the floor is against competition rules. Would you mind showing me the spitting contest rules and regulations? Especially the part where it says it's forbidden to place any items on the floor? Wow, the man has a point there. Whatever, kid. I don't think it's gonna be of any help, considering your current abilities. I want to spit. Hey, knock yourself out, kid. <gasps> Whoa. Man, looks like you hit the target. Oh, come on. Did you just spit on my magazine? Gross, man. You mean his magazine. Hey, no, no. It's my magazine. I'm not done reading it yet. The owner of the saliva is the owner of the magazine, and you know it. Oh, come on, you guys! Give the rookie the magazine. Um, thanks. Don't thank him. Rules are rules. Well, I didn't win a prize, but at least I managed to screw that shithead salesman over. Revenge is a dish best served cold and with phlegm. Have you seen this article? Which one? Oh, wow, amazing! I never thought a man would be able to do that. That's real flexible. I gotta ask my yoga instructor to teach me that. I knew you'd like it. Thanks, boy. Oh, you're welcome, Murray. I like helping the authorities. Listen, Box. I'm only gonna say this once. Get the hell out of here right now. I don't want to see your ugly mug around here for the rest of the day, or else. Or else what? This! Two things ah. never happened again after that. The sisters never laid a finger on Randy again. And Boggs never walked again. They transferred him to a minimum security hospital in the state. To my knowledge, he lived off the rest of his days drinking his food through a straw. Wow, harsh but effective. Remember, Rookie, don't fuck with me. You got it, man. Uh-uh. <laughs>